If you're looking for great television shows, then consider these eight edgy, suspense-filled series with all available episodes on Netflix. If you like any one of them, you'll probably like the others. They all serve the same type of plot twist, edgy content, and suspense wrapped in brilliant performances by great actors. These are all critically acclaimed TV shows, so if you're lucky enough to have missed any, you're in for a binge-watching treat. Breaking Bad If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, you have five seasons available to watch on Netflix. Brian Cranston plays an honest chemist teacher, Walter White, who finds out he only has months to live. He already struggles financially to support his pregnant wife and son who has cerebral palsy. He connects with one of his former students, Jesse Pinkman, played by Aaron Paul, to make crystal meth so he can pay for his medical bills and secure money for his family. With his chemistry background, he produces an exceptionally high quality product and Walter finds himself falling ever deeper into his criminal enterprise. It eventually draws the attention of his DEA brother-in-law, Hank, and local drug cartels. And so begins a cat and mouse game of trying to hide his identity and cover his tracks. Breaking Bad explores Walter's moral dilemma as he transforms from a respected teacher and father to a desperate drug dealer fighting for his survival. Each season, Walter and Jesse manage to work themselves out of a deeper challenge and the series ends at the peak of its popularity. The Breaking Bad cast includes Anna Gunn as Walter White's wife Skyler, Bob Odenkirk as his lawyer Saul Goodman, Dean Norris as DEA agent Hank Schrader, Jonathan Banks as tough guy Mike Ehrmantraut, and Giancarlo Esposito as drug kingpin Gus Fring. Bob Odenkirk's character Saul Goodman also becomes the central figure in director Vince Gilligan's prequel to Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. Aaron Paul also returns in El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, so fans of Breaking Bad have additional choices to watch as well. Ozark Jason Bateman plays Chicago financial planner Marty Bird, who is drawn into laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. After his partner skims $8 million off a money laundering deal, the cartel kills him but spares Marty, who claims he can replace the money and launder much more in the Ozarks. Marty and his family are forced to uproot and move to the Lake of the Ozarks to find potential businesses that can be used as a front for their money laundering scheme. After finding Marty's partner dead, the FBI is suspicious of Marty's sudden move to the Ozarks and follow him to investigate. Marty's wife Wendy, played by Laura Linney, soon learns of the criminal connections that Marty has kept hidden. She is drawn in out of support of her family and becomes a formidable character throughout the series. She is divided at times between helping Marty and wanting to leave him, but her fight for survival often brings her and Marty together to deal with the external threats. Marty also enlists the help of Ozark local Ruth Langmore, played by Julia Garner, to assist with the business side of the money laundering. The gripping performances of Jason Bateman, Laura Linney, and Julia Garner, and clever twists in the story result in a series that builds to a spectacular third season. The fourth and final season will be released in 2021 as a 14-episode show divided into two parts. Good Girls Three mothers, Beth, played by Christina Hendricks, her sister Annie, played by Mae Whitman, and their friend Ruby, played by Retta, are struggling financially and decide to rob a grocery store where Annie works. They make away with much more money than expected because local gang members were housing their money at the store and now they want it back. This leads the three into never-ending crime sprees to fulfill the requests of the gang leader Rio, played by Manny Montana. To make matters worse, FBI agent Turner, played by James Lejeure, is hot on their trail and evidence is piling up against them. They are forced to find more creative ways to get out of trouble and to get out from under Rio's control. Eventually, Beth's husband, Dean, played by Matthew Lillard, and Ruby's husband, Stan, played by Reno Wilson, become aware of the criminal elements and get drawn in. Good Girls has some comedy elements as well as shocking story twists that will keep you interested. Season 3 was just released. The Queen's Gambit The Queen's Gambit is a Netflix limited series of seven episodes based on the 1983 novel by Walter Tevis of the same name. The title Queen's Gambit refers to a chess opening. It's a coming-of-age drama following the life of Beth Harmon played by Anya Taylor-Joy. The series starts out as nine-year-old Beth is sent to an orphanage in the 1950s after her mother dies in a car accident. There she is introduced to tranquilizer pills to make her more compliant. 
The building's custodian, Mr. Scheibel, is an avid chess player and he reluctantly offers to teach her how to play. She learns chess quickly and her skill is only enhanced by the aid of her drug use. Mr. Scheibel discovers Beth is a child prodigy as she can beat him consistently as well as the entire local high school chess club. Beth later steals tranquilizers and suffers an overdose as a result and is forbidden to play chess anymore. Years later, she is adopted and eventually enters and wins her first chess tournament. Her skill is recognized and this begins her rise to fame as a chess champion, all while battling her drug and alcohol dependency. As the series progresses, Beth is faced with greater chess foes, which climaxes in a chess game in Moscow against her strongest competitor and current world champion, Vasily Borgov. The Queen's Gambit mixes elements of sports victory, Beth's success as a female in male-dominated 1960s culture, drug addiction, and a little democracy over communism. The series became one of Netflix's most watched shows and has led to a resurgence of interest in chess. Dead to Me like the other edgy shows on the list, there are some dark moments in Dead to Me, but it still manages to include plenty of humor. Jin, played by Christina Applegate, is trying to find the person responsible for the death of her husband. She meets Judy, played by Linda Cardellini, at grief counseling, and they form a bond. Judy claims to be grieving for her fiancé that died of a heart attack, but is actually the driver of the hit-and-run car that killed Jin's husband. The personality conflicts between Judy's free spirit, Jin's hot-headed bouts of anger, and Jin's untrusting son Charlie serve to create an interesting storyline. The second season creates even more surprising twists to the story. According to the latest news, season 3 will be the finale for the series. Better Call Saul Better Call Saul is a prequel to Breaking Bad set six years before Saul becomes Walter White's lawyer. It follows Jimmy McGill, played by Bob Odenkirk, as a public defender and former con man, whose brother, Chuck, played by Michael McKeon, is a well-respected co-owner of a law firm. Jimmy can't quite escape his con man activities and later changes his name to Saul Goodman as he transforms from a public defender to a criminal defense attorney for shady characters. Chuck suffers from electromagnetic hypersensitivity and can't leave his home, and Jimmy, as a supportive brother, provides for his needs, but Chuck has little respect for Jimmy when it comes to his legal talents. This conflict covers much of the first four seasons. Ex-cop Mike Ehrmantraut, played by Jonathan Banks, also reprises his Breaking Bad role in the series. He and Jimmy begin to intertwine in the story as they both get involved working for the drug cartel. Gus Fring, played by Giancarlo Esposito, returns as a fast food chain owner and secret drug distributor for the Mexican cartel. He hires Mike to head his security. A new face in the series is Kim Wexler, played by Rhea Seahorn. She is a lawyer and serves as confidant and romantic partner to Jimmy. She is slowly pulled into Jimmy's questionable activities. The series is highly regarded by some as the best prequel ever made, and some consider it even better than Breaking Bad. Netflix has the first five seasons, and the final sixth season will be released later this year. How to Get Away with Murder a group of law students attending class taught by a criminal defense professor get wrapped up in a murder plot. Annalise Keating, played by Viola Davis, is the criminal defense professor. She selects five of her first-year students to intern at her legal firm and they investigate the death of her husband's mistress. As the series progresses, there are many murders to solve and suspense follows each. The storyline is full of twists and takes all the way to the final sixth season to clear up many of the major plot points. Viola Davis received accolades for her performance and brilliantly added mystery to her character. All six seasons are available on Netflix. Thanks for watching TV Sneak Peek. If you have better suggestions for TV shows, tell us about it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified of future videos.